Hello, uh, this is going to be an explanation of uh, level star one in Snakebird, uh, a solution and how we get there. Okay, so looking at this level, we have a large chasm to go across, and obviously our snake birds cannot actually reach across the chasm, so we'll have to use this uh, rod uh, and push it across um, these spikes. So looking at this, is that going to be enough? So first let's see if that's going to be enough. The general idea is we're going to get it here. It takes up three spaces. And then we're going to push it across somehow. And then it'll eventually get to here. Okay, so the question is, suppose that we're here, is it actually enough to get to the finish? We have two, four long snake birds, and we have three length snake birds. So you can imagine a four length going here, and then the other four length going on top of it to here. And then the three length can then exit, and uh, the, the slightly higher four can go across, and then the, the last four can go across. So that's fine. So we know that this, this is a good end, end state we're trying to get to. Continuing to work backwards, the next question is how do we get the bar from here uh, over, over across? Obviously we need to push it. Uh, we can't push it directly because we can't sit on the spikes and or we would fall because there's nothing below it. So we're going to have to make a, a sled with the snakes and then push the snake. So a sled could either be, you know, it could be shaped like this, uh, and then you push it from behind, um, except then there's nothing to stand on. Um, it could be like this perhaps. So, so maybe you could imagine uh, pushing on one snake here, um, but there's actually no space for that here because there's only one space here uh, that a snake can go, go into. So instead, um, we can make a, a, a Tetris, a, an L, a zigzag piece here, and then have a second snake here. Uh, with a four length, we can hang a, a snake here, and then we can push from here. And that'll enable us to push across, uh, and we'll fit underneath uh, this extra spike. The only remaining question is then, um, how do we get this bar up on top? If we have a four length here, and we have a four length here, and then we have here connected to here, then we can use the three length, the green piece, to push it over. So that's what we're trying to do. So then the green, the three length goes here. That's the setup we want to get it on top. Uh, we move this out of the way. And then we're gonna, we're gonna lift. Oops. We're gonna lift this as high as we can. There we go. So we want to stack the heads of the birds so we can lift as high as possible. And then now blue will hold it up. Okay. Now we get Red will be positioned under blue. Green, we're just moving up to the top. All right, there we go. Now we can push, whoops. We can push this over. 
Okay. Now we need to get the, the zigzag piece here. Oops. Uh, it needs to be a four piece. So we need to swap some of these. This guy has to jump down. In fact, I think they both need to jump down. This guy needs to go on top, I believe. There we go. This enables us to make the right shape sled. There we go. That's the sled. Uh, now we need to get the green piece on top of red. Green snake. Okay, and then we put blue on top. Blue will just ride it out. Now green can sled. Okay, at this point, we need to get across the chasm. There we go. And now green can exit. Red can exit. Blue can exit. All right. There we go. Thanks for watching.